Hi, welcome back. Since I started doing these videos, I've come to terms with some realities about uh, selling scrap metal. For one thing, there are many scrap metal sellers all over the world, but there are tens of thousands more scrap metal buyers and many more brokers wanting to cut a deal in between. And one of the things that I've learned is that there's some rules to uh, international trade with regard to the sale of scrap metal. And they include the fact that many major scrap metal providers don't want to do small deals. They don't want to do spot deals of 100 or 300 or 500 metric tons per month. They want to do more like 20 to 30,000 metric tons per month. And if you're going to do a deal like this, you have to find a buyer that is going to agree to the payment terms of the seller, specifically whether or not they're going to be able to pay by cash or certified check, whether they're going to be able to pay by letter of credit or standby letter of credit. Also, you need to know whether or not uh, the client is going to be able to do certain kinds of transactions, uh, CIF or cost insurance and freight, or CNF, or FAS, free alongside, or FOB, free on board. Now, if the client that you have pay, ag agrees to, uh, to the payment terms and agrees to buy a reasonably large amount of uh, scrap metal, in this case HMS 1 and 2, then you're home free. But this is not always uh, an easy thing to do. Often you have to juggle the clients for weeks, even months, before you find uh, a suitable uh, uh, match. One thing that I have uh, come to realize is that uh, the best way to um, promote myself as an international trader, naturally I use the internet, but one of the things I have learned to do is uh, to promote myself in indirect ways. For example, uh, I spend a lot of time going to other people's YouTube videos. I watch the videos that are germane to international trade. I leave comments. I leave my, my email address, uh, my website address, and people appreciate the fact that you uh, contact them and show real interest in what they're doing. It also helps because you can learn more about international trade by learning about the problems that other people are, uh, are having out there in the real world. It's a good idea to interact with as many people on the net as possible and do it in a, um, in a sincere way. Not just because you want to make some money, but because you want to learn about what's going on in the real world of business. Also, if you don't have it get Twitter and add it to uh, your website, add it to your YouTube page if you have one, add it to your Facebook, and update it at least uh, once a week minimum. This will give you additional visibility, it will bring people to your website, it will draw attention to what you're doing, and you may even find more genuine buyers and sellers for whatever you're trying to sell. Also, when people contact you by email, or phone for that matter, or they make comments on your web page, and they make little suggestions that you should change things because something doesn't look right, or uh, your videos are too loud, or the music is uh, bad, or the fonts are the t wrong size, don't take the criticism personally. Remember, that person may very well be a future client of yours and the client, the buyer, is always right. So any constructive criticism you get, and I mean constructive criticism, not just someone that says screw you, you know, in a comment, but anyone who tells you you ought to do something a different way, take it under consideration. It might be a good idea. Another thing you should consider is the fact that you need to believe what you're doing. If you don't believe what you're saying, if you don't believe in what you're selling, nobody will. In sales, the first thing I've discovered is that the first thing you're selling is yourself. 
and if the person doing the buying doesn't like you and that's whether they don't like your looks or the way you sound or the look of your website if they don't like you they're not gonna like your product no matter how good it is so keep that in mind another thing to consider is to set goals I have had to set daily goals for what I'm doing. I can't get anything done unless I know what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've set daily goals. Ultimately, I've been able to set weekly and monthly goals. If you achieve even one thing per day on your goal list, you're way ahead of everyone who's uh, out there trying to do business, but they're just doing it off the top of their heads and uh, they're not keeping track of what they're doing. Set daily and weekly goals, if necessary set monthly goals and you will succeed even more so than your competition because most of your competition may not know what it's doing and the important thing when you contact a client and this is very important is to get back to them. Have follow through with your clients uh, the clients want to know what's going on. If you contact someone or they contact you and they say, I want to do this, or can you do this, and you say, sure, I'll get back to you in 24 or 48 hours, make sure you get back to them because they don't know you from Adam. And the only way they do know you is from your website or something that you say on a blog or in a forum listing. It's important that you become as good as your word because that's really all you have on the Internet. One thing I've had to do is put in a lot longer hours. I used to put in a couple hours a day on my website or on uh, my email or on a combination of the two. I've now had to put in five to six hours. And that may not sound like a lot. Uh, most of us in this business have what you call real jobs and I have a real job too. But in the morning I put in three hours before I go to work in the evenings I put in three hours when I come back checking email conference calling on Skype things of this nature also I uh, update all my links uh, to all of my websites or all to my forums I have a, uh, a profile on brightfuse.com on LinkedIn and on Facebook so I'm updating those links all the time and the interconnectivity between those links helps people find me all the faster and generates a reputation for me as someone who's really serious about doing business. So consider what I've said. Some of it may be useful, some of it may not be. But I'm sure that if you apply some of it, it'll help you in your business. That's all for now. Thanks for watching my video. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.